welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to let you know that the process is just about to start where I'm going to take my solar powered setup and change it from 12 volts to 24 volts. So uh, let me show you what I have going on right now and then what my process is going to be to switch it up from 12 volts to 24 volts. Alright, as you can see, I have uh, a, a one 12 volt 300 amp hour Chins battery connected to my setup. There's my entire setup right there. Also, right now, that battery, uh, I just got it charged up to 14.2 volts and now it's floating at 13.8 volts. So uh, it's right at where I want it to be, right at about a little under 100%. So what I'm gonna do is turn off this entire system and switch out this Chins battery with the battery I just received yesterday, uh, which has been sitting in, my, sitting in my workshop for the past 24 hours. So it should be uh, at room temperature, be safe to set up. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, is I'm gonna take this one off my system and I'm going to put this one on my system. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because this system is also my battery charger. I do not have a battery charger. I have my inverter is turned off. All my stuff is basically turned off. So I think I'm leaking about three watts worth of energy away from the battery. So that's very that's minimal. So let's go ahead and uh, take this battery off and swap it out with the other one. Okay. First thing we need to do, turn off the power to the solar charge controllers from the solar panels. Next thing we need to do is turn off the connection between the battery and the solar charge controllers. Okay, so now all this stuff is turned off. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and disconnect the positive and negative. Okay, let's go ahead and connect this, the negative. All right, new battery's in. Let's go ahead and look at my shunt to see what the voltage is in the battery. Voltage is 13.15. We'll go ahead and turn everything back on. Okay, both of my solar charge controllers are booted up. So let's go ahead and turn the solar panels back on. And it's dark outside, so we're not getting any energy anyway. Tomorrow, uh, my solar panels should be able to charge up this battery all the way up to 14.2. And then from there, it will float at 13.8. Like I said, it's at 13.15 volts. So, uh, and right now, my, and my, again, my inverter is turned off. The only thing that's on is my Raspberry Pi, um, which is connected to my, my DC block, but nothing on my DC block is turned on or plugged in. So the only thing, it's using about, uh, it's using about three watts. That, that Raspberry Pi is using about three watts, which for a 300 amp, 12 volt battery, I don't think it'll cause too much damage. So tomorrow, I'm going to let my solar panels charge this thing up. See you soon. Okay, everybody. Uh, it is now the next day. Um, I went ahead and let my battery charge up. It is now all the way up to, it, it got all the way up to 14.2. Uh, let me look at my phone here. It got all the way up to 14.2 and then it floated. And now it says the voltage is 13.73. So I am going to test the voltage on the battery that's connected to my system now and then test the voltage on the uh, other battery I disconnected yesterday and see how far apart they are. 
Uh, it would be awesome if they were within a hundred hundredth of a millivolt, but I doubt it. If they're not, I'll have to set them in parallel, and maybe until tomorrow or so, so that way uh, they can uh, both be at the exact same level. All right, so let's go ahead and get that other, let's get this stuff uh, measured out. Okay, you should be able to see that. This is the measurement of the battery I took off yesterday. 13.73. Let's go ahead and take a measurement of the battery that's connected to my system. That measurement is, the voltage is 13.73. Do you see that? 13.73. So they are both the exact voltage. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off that battery and uh, I might go ahead and just set them in parallel anyway so that way it's, everything's fine. So what I need to do is I need to disconnect this battery uh, and then I need to disconnect this wire, this wire. Uh, I'm going to disconnect, I'm going to take out this inverter because this inverter is a 12 volt inverter and I need a uh, 24 volt inverter which I purchased which is sitting right over there. So I need to take this out, uh, I need to disconnect these, disconnect this, and I have a, uh, a step down 24 volt to 12 volt, uh, a step down, so I'm going to put that right here, so that will power my, uh, my Raspberry Pi and my, my, uh, my DC box right here. Let's go ahead and get this done. First thing I need to do is I need to disconnect my solar panels and disconnect my solar charge controllers from my battery. Alright, so first thing, disconnect solar panels. Next thing, disconnect the solar charge controllers on the battery. And now, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. Uh, now I'm going to take this battery over here. Next thing I should go ahead and do is just disconnect the inverter. Take off the inverter completely because it's 12 volt, and then I need to put a uh, 24 volt to 12 volt step down right here to power my Raspberry Pi and my fuse block. All right, goodbye, 1100 watt modified sine wave inverter. Okay, here is my step down, my uh, 24 to 12 volt step down. Uh, it's from. Uh, Leadmo, I don't know. Maybe I just got it off of Amazon, so it had plenty of good reviews. So hopefully, hopefully it works well. I was kind of wondering if I needed to uh, find some sort of manual or look online to find out how this works. But look, right on the back, it shows me exactly what wires do what. So my uh, my positive and negative to my 24 volt system are going to be these two guys right here and then my negative and my positive going out to my 12 volt stuff are going to be here and here. The first thing I probably want to do is uh, I want to put those two chins batteries right here but as you can see this platform isn't big enough so what I did was I bought I bought some 2x4s and I'm going to have a 2x4 pretty much a, another level, a, a, another layer of just 2x4s going all the way across from here to here so that the two batteries will sit on top of that. But it's going to, you know, it's going to raise it up, uh, you know, an inch and a half or an inch and three quarters. Basically, you know, a 2x4 is two inches, so well, let's say two inches. It'll raise it up two inches. So I need to make sure that my batteries, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not putting stuff on here where my batteries are supposed to go. So I should probably cut that and, and put it all in first, put my batteries on there, and then uh, I think I'll go ahead and cut that all up before I go, before I go all crazy on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the wood and I'll be right back. All right, I had to change cameras because my battery died. But I got my new platform down. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my two batteries on here now. Alright, battery number one. Alright, battery number two. Let's go ahead and get our DC 
DC to DC step down to install. You need to cover up. You need to cover up these posts. How about I just take all these off? Okay, 24 volt, 24 volt side, 12 volt side. So let's go ahead and strip these. Just go ahead and put it right there. Any more, any smaller screws? Yeah, these smaller screws. I need to find some different ones. Um, ooh, hello. I think these guys are gonna work just fine. Beautiful. Okay. This is the 12 volt side. This. Okay. And so this is the positive going to the battery bank. So let's have to strip this. It's off. side. Strip it. Keith, where's my wire stripper? Just waiting on my wire stripper that my son thinks is the most fun toy ever. Four volts. This wire can just go right there. Hey, so this is my first time stripping wire like this, and it is as easy as I thought it would be. Oh my. Hydraulic crimper, so it's the first time I've ever even opened it up. I have no idea even what it looks like. Yeah, this is my first, this is my first cable I've ever done. That's that's this size. Look at that. Not too shabby, huh? Pretty good. Wow. First time ever using these too. And uh, yeah, they cut two gauge wire uh, like it's butter. Do people use these as strip wire too? That's what I want to find out. Oh, look at that. Yeah, using this to uh, strip, so much easier than trying to use a razor blade. It's probably so much safer because I was worried that I was going to cut, cut my finger while I was stripping the last one. 
Yeah, you gotta pump it like a thousand times. Okay. There is my connection cable between my two batteries. You know, I wonder if I should disconnect my block and measure the voltage so that way I don't blow all this stuff up. So how about I do that? I'll go ahead, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's disconnect. Let's disconnect these two guys because I just don't want to find out that I wired something wrong and have my Raspberry Pi and all my lights blow up. That sounds smart? Yeah, that sounds smart. And this should make, this will make the system 24 volts. Take my multimeter and measure across. All right, 27.29. Okay, let's go ahead and connect this one up. Hopefully, hopefully all my shit doesn't explode. Okay, let's do some more measurements just to make sure everything is cool. Bus bars, 27.29. 12.27. That is perfect. All right. That's on. Okay. Looks like uh, things are turning back on. The power to my uh, Raspberry Pi is on. So that means my Raspberry Pi is probably turning back on. Let's see if my lights turn on. Switch is right here. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Switch is here. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. All the lights, all the DC lights turn on. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, perfect. So, everything's working. Next thing we need to do is turn on my slow charge controllers. like those turned on let's try it's it's nighttime so the solar panels aren't going to do anything anyway but let's go ahead and turn the solar panels on and I think everything's on so all we got to do is put our 24 volt uh, 3000 watt inverter on and then we are done and I need to I need to set these I need to set these to 24 volts because right now they're still on 12 volt. Um, I don't know if they automatically switch over or not, so so that's going to take some time. So I'll uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit.